even in movies, which are, you know, in this respect based on real life, where they're sitting down, they've got the map and they've got it charted out, you know, where the most threatening force is, the most strategic place where the enemy is working. Of course, we are their enemies. They, they want to take us down. The church, um, you know, and, and even the fact that we are God's children. Uh, Satan hates us. He's a called the accuser of the brethren, the slanderer. Okay, well, why is he so against us? Well, he can't take down God. God's on the throne. Um, the, the most he could do was send Jesus to the cross, and then we discover that actually it was part of God's redemptive plan for Jesus to go to the cross. And so the worst thing Satan does, and this is, this is why we we call Good Friday, Good Friday. The worst thing that ever happened in human history to the best person who ever lived in human history, and then we call it Good Friday. Why don't we call it Bad Friday? It, it, why don't we call it Horrific Friday? Why don't we call it the word? We call it Good Friday because of what came out of it. Because then resurrection, the conquest. And so Good Friday, what we call Good Friday was in and of itself, just that day, not knowing what would follow next, was the single greatest triumph of Satan ever in history. The one that was predicted in you know, Genesis 3 uh, about the bruising uh, of, the, uh, of the heel and the head. Quote to me Genesis 3.15. And bruise his heel, right. And so it was Christ who, he, so Satan's head would ultimately be destroyed, crushed, and Christ's uh, heel that would be bruised. So, but the crucifixion itself on the day it happened seemed a lot more than the bruising of the heel. Uh, 